So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted a theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Marth. The year so we got Hogwarts Legacy here. There it is. Bridge. It's almost complete. Oh, spiders! These can't be what the head of the tree Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Uh, that was hard. Rebellion. We'll need to look around for the symbol. I only see two of them. Where's the third? That's odd. I just thought Chapter would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him.
Come on! I'm gonna get this. I get spot. Why is it being like this? Okay. Do I have to be invisible or something? This can't be it. And it's not being fast enough, the dumb thing. Can't go any faster though. Can't go any Okay. Okay. Ten at once. Look at 
long enough? Sheesh! Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wound. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? To learn to nerf the dumb bubble up. Thing. Let me get this. I hate statues. I totally hate statues. Why is it making me do this every single time?
great. Not bigger ones. Turn it! Having felt this low. That's a moving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Grimgar's unrestricted section. I don't know. <laughs> the room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Whoa! I'm underwater! I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Is this place? Someone finally, finally found, found our map, map chamber? chamber? I recognize you yep. from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganok were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, yes, sir. I do. As you As have you likely realized by now, our ability our gives us a unique relationship with all forms, forms of, magic. of magic. We can we access, access expressions of magic, magic that few others can. can. 
opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. and the map chamber. Why would I need a book? I guess we're not, we don't know everything yet. <sighs> I'm tired. Back at Hogwarts? I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. What's this? Ravella. Uh, of course. Yeah, it was an accident! 
What's going on? Learn how to fly, yay! Just have to wait around. Everybody, Everybody grab, grab a broom, broom, broom and we and shall, shall get started. Get started. Mr. Clockburn, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now your, your turn. turn. Oh, 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 you stupid rat of school broom. Up. 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 One leg over, oh, so there's a leg on each side. side. None, None of that, that side saddle nonsense. nonsense. A, gust a gust of wind will wind throw you right off. off. <laughs> it's not <a> horse. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are still property. I want, I want them returned, them returned in, one in one piece. piece. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, do you say so? How you get lower? Excellent. Okay. Well done. well done. Now that now you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah! This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Got it! What have you... Hello! Nice day for a ride! That wasn't too bad. Yeah. What last thing I'm going to do? Wish you could have experienced fall asleep. The the first year. It's pretty. Ah. Uh, oh, probably always will. Whoa. Our for probably going to progress. To make an appearance once in a while. Ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> Go away, you dumb squid! I'm not food. Oh, 
moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common one. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. I guess the they're making us do it. Begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster is having tea by the window today. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Flitwick! <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yep. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy. Lean forward. Help help you need to escape the tricky thing. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not caught up with grip? Oh, I wish. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And we are long. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Yeah. And a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Well, there's the Quidditch field. Dismount here. And where have you two been? I did. I told you I didn't want to get in trouble. Oh, hello, Professor. We were we trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. He told me to! I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Uh, okay. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Thanks. Then why did you get a point for me? <laughs> Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I guess. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kugawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. I wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Splintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay, I'm the. Uh, if I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Splintwich's, I'd be on it now.
siblings and I. You should learn. You should learn how to use a little like unto the text in the classroom. Please meet me on the seventh floor corridor as soon as possible. I have an idea for more. Go focus on your studies and make from your prying eyes of distractions and more. Uh, in, in C. What should we see? Requires an assistance of Lee through your might be interested. Visit me, JP Potions, in your earning forms. I'm not, I'm not forgotten about the library, because you did. How'd you fare? If you access me, visit me outside the defense clock box. I know you. Hi everybody, it's a new day, it's a new way, got to play Hogwarts. <laughs> We're so happy, and my character can run in heels, I don't understand that. How does she do that? She loves running in heels. People don't think people can run in heels, but she can, she's doing a great job. <laughs> Hey, where this way? Get away! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> I thought the boy boy would find me. Okay, let's see what this mission is. Oops, okay, gotta do this. Let me hey, aren't you? Hey! Is that nearly has a snake or something? Hey, want to talk to you? Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Hello, room requirement. 
Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Professor. This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. I make it as dead. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, you can take advantage of the moment. Now, where is this? You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deep, Deep professor? professor? The house the elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Great. Start Clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents what? the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Darn it! I have to move the dumb thing. Splendid. Splendid. Now, now, cast Evanesco. Oops. I didn't even do that. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss the uses later. Yeah. Where can Merlin's name is that I don't know. This version, Dobby. Is that good? My goals, would you give it down? Some of us have tried to wondered where that had gone to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Got it. Have fun. Never never been in the scene. So we get Draco's version of um of it. Cause this isn't this isn't Harry's, this is Draco's version. Old uh, old tea, old tea. Anybody? <laughs> it's under here. I don't see anything under there. Why did I bother moving that dumb thing? Oh, I have to move it back. Dumb thing. I hate that my dumb inventory has to be full of time.
otro lado. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, no, no! no. I don't know how you get where I'm in! Oh, I am. Hey, this is my place too. Be author room through the needed the bath and check. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I need a bath. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Ooh. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I guess even house elves need to have their own to themselves. <laughs> what was that? Was that a golden snitch? Oh. So my last girl. You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to go over there? How do I get over there? Get this thing out of my way now. I hope that house elf can find us in here. There it is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. The right, right is being there. Up. It will come to you. Hello. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. 
you seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Got it. The room will do the rest. provided you with a desk of description. Excellent! Cool! It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class.
You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow crops. Presume, of course, you've collected any seeds or potions you need in the pot or outside the grass. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Got it. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay guys, so we're going to end the second part here, or any part here too. What the heck is going on over here? Wake ye up, be. Professor Ronan reminds, reminds me of my grandfather. My grandfather. Loads, of, Loads wisdom, of wisdom, but a bit but mad. Bit mad. Okay. What's wrong with being mad? Well, at least you get the red of the skirt. Finally. Okay, so I'm in it here, guys, for um, future and if I don't want ever to say goodbye in other videos, so. So, bye bye.